The following podcast is brought to you by Astro Panda Productions. For more information or to find other great shows, visit astropandaproductions.com or visit the Astro Panda Productions page on blogtalkradio.com. And now, insurance-minded speeches from Geico. Hardship. My grandmother would go through it every month to pay her insurance bill. First, she would handwrite a paper check, in cursive. Then, using her own tongue, she would wet a stamp for an envelope. Today, however, we need not weary our hands and tongues. Today, we can pay our GEICO bill with the GEICO app. Away with hardship, in with bill pay on the GEICO app. Thank you. Hey guys, Nitro Weasel 3K here, and I just wanted to pop in really quickly before the episode started and make some announcements and say a few things. First of all, we wanted to tell everybody who stopped by our booth at GeekFest 2017 that we really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. We had a really good time, met a lot of really cool people. And actually, as a result, there's a few new staff members joining NerdLifeTX.com. So if you haven't been over there in a while, it's probably worthwhile time to check it out because we're going to have some really neat staff members writing really cool articles uh, shifting in here pretty shortly. The second thing I wanted to say was the last episode of the show was a little odd, and uh, the reason for that being that uh, Piper and myself actually couldn't hear each other for half that podcast, and we had no idea until after we were done recording. So it came out a little bit rough, but we still think it was a decent episode. So I really wanted to send a thank you out to uh, Zero Ping because he had to edit that episode, unfortunately, because I was traveling to GeekFest. So uh, thanks, man. That was really cool of you. I appreciate it. And uh, we hope you guys still enjoyed the episode because we don't like not putting an episode out, uh, even if we have technical issues. The last thing I wanted to cover really quick was this is a live episode that you're about to listen to. Uh, We recorded this at GeekFest 2017 in front of a room full of people, and uh, it was really cool. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fan interaction. Uh, There's about an hour's worth of stuff that you didn't hear before this because we were getting prepped and kind of just meeting, greeting everybody before the show started. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I kept this episode relatively unedited. I made a few tweaks here and there if, if there was super loud noises that would hurt your ears or if somebody who coughed into a microphone or whatever I tried to cut it out but for the most part I left this mostly unedited so you're going to hear the background noise you're going to hear our fans talking you're going to hear anybody who comes into another room kind of saying stuff to us and whatever and interacting so it was really cool I really like the way it came out and I hope you guys do too if you enjoyed this please 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 let us know because we would love to do more live events uh, hopefully our recording at the live events will get a little bit more uh, pristine the next time this was the first time we've ever done a live event and we were using uh, one of the mics was new Uh, i had never used the equipment in a big room like that before that we used to record so it was a big learning experience but we still think it came out pretty good and if you guys enjoyed this we'd love to hit more conventions do more live shows see you guys more often so if you like it make sure you let us know let us know on facebook twitter instagram wherever you see this or hear this let us know Uh, so until next time i am nitro weasel 3k i am going to let you go ahead and go into the episode we hope you enjoy it thanks guys Welcome. Welcome to the Gaming with Scissors podcast. I love it! Hello and welcome to the Gaming with Scissors podcast. I'm your host, Nitro Weasel 3K. Sean's child destroyed a grown man's dreams today. That's oh. a lot of fun. <laughs> so that's we can talk about that later since we didn't do any show prep. And none, uh, none, none there's like live people around us right now. If live people want to make a noise. See, now people will actually believe that there were live people listening to this. That's it's like awesome. 80 people in here. Yeah, it's like five. it's like five dudes. We scared all the women who weren't married to us out of the room already. So that's good. <laughs> Somebody That's kept cool. throwing the rape And most around. of them are people who got free stuff from us in advance. So I don't know if that counts. And then the guy that owns our podcast network. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if he can count. Our wives are legally bound to be here, I think. Um, so, uh, all right. I am, I am joined currently by Piper. How are you, sir? I'm, uh, well, I'm doing a lot better now. I'm glad my kid didn't kill anybody. Yeah, yeah that's good. That'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, I'm also joined by uh, Dave O'Banjo. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. 
That's all. That's like very seductive the way that you. Uh, Thank you. I, I appreciated that you leaned in, and your voice is very bassy in my headphones. <laughs> I'm gonna lean in. <laughs> I'm gonna lean. We're hey, gonna get in your head. Hey girl, what are you doing later? <laughs> Email me. I have an AOL account. Um, okay, so uh, David is a uh, writer and content creator for the site. Actually, back when it was actually called. Gaming with Scissors. Now it's Nerd Life TX. Like five years ago. (laughs) Yeah, because we wanted to expand out because Sean needed to write about other things because we're both ADD as hell. Oh, and and sell t-shirts because I had to get rid of the old t-shirts. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, which I'm wearing right now. So if anybody wants cool t-shirts, you should go up and get some of these because they're limited edition, a.k.a. we printed a shit ton and need to get rid of them. Five years ago. You know, that's that vintage. They're vintage. My my wife, everybody. Thank you. That's why that's why you're here. That and you're married to me. Um, Okay, cool. So, uh, David, you haven't been on. Have you even listened to this show before? No. You want me to lie? <laughs> See the people the people that write for us don't even listen to our <laughs> shitty show. Nobody does. Just just French people. And people just, from Denmark. Yeah, we just have people from Denmark and France. It's so crazy. I'm like, all right, cool, man. Let's do some of that. I'm good with that. Uh, <laughs> so here's how this generally works. Uh, you tell us what you played in gaming this week or what you did in gaming. It doesn't have to necessarily be played. Maybe you just bought a bunch of shit and didn't play it like Sean. I never uh, played anything. <laughs> I haven't bought anything. I'm too poor. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at the convention. You spend, all your, you spend all your money on Prince. Yeah, Prince. Ten dollars a piece. Prince of Naked Batman. <laughs> I just, I just. T- t- Prince, He's got Prince, his underwear on. Pr- <laughs> Prince of Prince of just Albert rubbing Batman's back with a sponge. <laughs> Alfred. That's what I'm into. <laughs> Alfred. I don't Alfred even, and Albert. All right, guys. Somebody take my card away. <laughs> Get out of here. You're um, you're banned from this room. I am. So, uh, all right, cool. Well, did you actually play any games this week? I actually did play some Batman games, the Arkham series. <laughs> well, that was spot on. Did you know he had played Batman <laughs> games? <laughs> no about idea. Batman game? No. <laughs> He's Why like, did you play those games? Because they're good. Which one? Well, I, I started with Asylum. What order do they go in? Asylum, okay. City, then uh, <laughs> Night. Then you got Origins. Kind of skipped show. Origins. I was scared to play it. Night was the one, right? The last one or whatever. Well, that was the one where WB was just like, hey, do you like your dick? We're going to kick it in your body. <laughs> like Inside Out? Yeah, they just they were like, hey, you got an Audi. Now you got an Innie. Suck it. <laughs> so that's how that happened. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Did you? What did you play it on, though? PS4. Okay, so yours wasn't janky and broken. If you'd played it on PC, you'd have yeah, been a sad say, panda. The, the Steam version was the one that was garbage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not good. Um, that? Especially when it's like, hey, here's a $65 game that's broke as shit. Triple A, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, glad you paid for this. Hey, do you want some downloadable content? That'll be another $38. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that season pass. That's right. That's right. So uh, so you, you played those? How do you? How are you enjoying those? No, I'm good. I finished Asylum City. I kind of finished in like night. a week or like is this how like, much you, time do you have? Yeah. Zero. This is like all year. No, it's not. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like a weekend. I didn't no, sleep no. all weekend. I just play some Batman. <laughs> I don't love anybody. I'm gonna stay in my basement. They don't need to know what I'm basement. doing. I got a drinking problem and my kids are in bed. I got to, I got to play three games all year. It ain't a problem when they're in bed. <laughs> So you played three games. So you played three games all year. They were just all this week. I just bought them a week ago. Those are the only three games I get to play all year because nobody loves me. That's how it goes. That's how it, yeah, that's how it goes. You cut me deep. I did. You could get knifed. We're gonna bleed you out. Knife, knife, knife. Welcome to the game. <laughs> yeah, I played the game of life this week. It really slapped me around. I lost. The DLC in that is pretty shitty. I flew out of Ohio at 4 a.m. Let me tell you about how that game went. It just ended with me being sad and passing out for an hour in a sad hotel room. Well, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be sad when you said you flew out of Ohio. What? It is sad because he flew out of Ohio. Because I live in Ohio. I live in Ohio. That's what's sad. I live in a place that's just. Garbage. It's just brown forever. It's just all brown, yeah. man. All right. So uh, okay. So, so that's all. That's all you played. You didn't play nothing on your way here. You didn't like while he was driving. Like yeah. just a bunch of major. I play, I play Frogger while I'm driving. It's just called dodging people. <laughs> uh oh, he's dead. This is this is the real life version. Yeah, you're the car. V- that's it. <laughs> VR is, VR is goddamn incredible. I actually <laughs> saw that guy die. <laughs> Wee, um, boop. Yeah. Sadness. Yeah, I like, well, we just keep asking you questions. Just talking. That's right. Well, you're the guest star. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never been on a show, the so you're a guest. So, all right. So, you, you played those. Did you play anything else at I all? I actually played No Man's Sky. Got a lot of updates. Why, though? So. Oh! It's actually the game that was supposed to be a year ago. So That's cool. So, it only took a year for them to fix yeah. their janky, broken game. I, I bought the alpha version for $60. Hey, guess what? You, guess what? <laughs> that, that's, that's called AAA. Yeah. There's Tri- another AAA. Another AAA. 
Hey, everybody. You want to buy our broken game? Sweet. Earliest access. <laughs> Earliest access, for real. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not a Devolver game. It's actually a lot better now. Is it? Yeah. It, is it? Did you play it when it was broke as shit? Yeah. So uh, you actually did play it when it was... I thought it was still okay. I was like, you know, it, it got old real fast because there wasn't really anything to do. But I was like, oh, that's all right. Look around, pick up rocks, don't die. <laughs> and then I didn't play it for eight months, and then I got the first update, and I was like, oh, it got a little bit, a little bit better. That's what. That's when it got derpy dinosaurs that just looked at you funny. Yeah. There's a, you're like, sweet. <laughs> derp derp You're like, this is fantastic. This thing looks like it out of Ghostbusters 1. I'm so <laughs> it's excited. Like, it's just a ball with legs running around. There's no mouth. Nothing. They're like, it's, it's not alpha. You're like, dude, there ain't even a skin on it. It's, it's just, just a, a square, and it doesn't even walk. It's it one just of the, slides. It's one of those spore creatures. That's it. Oh, that's my God. One of, the one, all, one of the ones that always just looks like a dick. Yeah. Like, before the game is done, it always is just flopping around on the top, and you're like, whoa. With some eyeballs. That's the fish stage. Yeah. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. So, all right. So, you played, uh, you played the worst game at, well... Probably. I thought I mean, that's what this podcast point, is about. What, the worst game ever? Not yet. Maybe. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. I prepared for the wrong podcast. Dang it. You prepare for any. None of us prepared for any podcast. We are not today. prepared that's the problem. for anything. That's why this is unintentionally funny because everybody's like, man, you guys are bad at this. And you just told us how to do it. <laughs> um, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> at least they didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. Hey, you guys. It's all free. Aren't you all excited that it was free? Sometimes yeah. free doesn't mean good. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, that wrap that's, it up? That's about it. That's, that's about it. So, you. you just had a very sad week in gaming. Yeah, pretty much. You didn't play any of your retro garbage? You didn't play any, like, sad Nintendo games? You didn't play, like, Cheeto Man? No. Che- <laughs> Did you say Cheeto Man? Cheeto, Cheeto Man. Man. Is that a game? Cheeto Man is On a game. On Super Nintendo. Was it? Yeah, there's Chester Cheater game. Oh, no, no, Cheeto Man. Cheeto Man. Cheeto Man. Yeah. Cheeto Man, Cheeto Man, Cheeto Man, Cheeto Man too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a garbage game. Yeah, it's trash. They were never finished. It's unbeatable. Yeah, it's an unbeatable Nintendo game. It's super expensive, if any of you are wondering. It's dumb. They can come in here. here. We ain't got no pants on. (laughs) That ain't getting edited out. (laughs) No, I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in. All right, right, cool. So uh, really quick, uh, we're going to take a commercial break for our audience. That doesn't mean anything to you. It just means we're going to sit here and pretend like nothing's happening for three seconds, but you all can talk amongst yourselves. So uh, cool. We'll be right back. Daddy, where do babies come from? Uh... Well, uh... Honey? Mommy went to the store. Oh, well, you see, um... Well, there's a mommy and a daddy, right? Right. And see, when they call Geico, uh, they could save a bunch of money on car insurance. Oh, really? And that makes them happy? Yes, that makes them very happy. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we could have this talk, sunshine. (laughs) Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. Hey, we're back. Did you guys like that commercial? <laughs> that, was, that was the greatest commercial I ever heard. Was Potent- that awesome? Potentially you were told to buy tires. I'm right? totally going to buy insert random pizza commercial here. It is. It's always pizza it's commercial. It's always pizza or you should go to college. I'm like, I'm like, you are fucking... <laughs> It's 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 so ju- it's because your car, your show is called Ricardo. That's why <laughs> they're profiling so, you. So so our, our friend uh, the, the, yeah our friend Ricky who owns uh, Astro Panda has a show called the Ricardo Fantastico Show, and for some reason all of his ads are in Spanish because that's racial profiling as hell. <laughs> yeah, you can't have that. Blog Talk Radio, you need to get on that. Yeah. Hey, somebody's getting an email after this. Somebody's getting at least five emails because there's five people in here. No, there are more than five people. We'll there's get... 80 people in here. <laughs> this is it's an auditorium full. <laughs> there's, there's a non... Send us your money. There's a, <laughs> there's a nondescript <laughs> amount of people in here. So that's fun. Okay, Sean. Oh, my God. Let's, let's you and me talk about what we did in gaming this week, which apparently boils down to just playing uh, Overwatch twice <laughs> and then listening to my own voice for 11 hours. What did you play? I don't think I played anything else other than Overwatch. Ricky and I, we played some Overwatch. We played some Lucio Ball. Uh, we didn't even play real Overwatch. It was just like the, the mini game they decided to throw can, in. For can I please talk about how much dick I suck at Lucio Ball? <laughs> well, let's not talk about how much dick you suck. Like, I think that's why these people... I assume that's why everybody's here. The podcast won't be long enough for that story. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is part one of this three. Is part, part one. This is, the, this is the Donger podcast from now on. The first dick I sucked was I was 16. It's all about Dongers. So just so you guys know, so anybody who, anybody who has not uh, actually listened to our show before, we have this thing where almost every episode we talk about dicks unintentionally. Like, like well, no, we, Sometimes it's intentionally so we can hit the quota. Yeah, so <laughs> our first episode was right after uh, the new Conan game came out. Conan Exiles. And we were talking about the Dong Slider, right? Yeah, so like we're like, oh, may your slider be forever to the right. You know, talking about the donger slider because you can extend your your junk, manhood. your man, your man yeah. part. They yeah, for bigger. women, it makes your boobs bigger because that's equivalent. <laughs> Did you the two. Well, you're in one direction, yeah. so it's easy. Yeah, the band one direction. The Codan game is assuming their gender. 
Yeah. Women Junior can have balls. <laughs> women can have balls. It's 2017. Yeah, women can be whatever they want, including men. You can be whatever you want. Um, be okay. what you want to be. So, um, yeah. So we, 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 we just keep talking about them, and we realize, like, five episodes in or something, we're like, dude, we talk about dicks a lot. Like, that's weird. So then Sean brought it up, so that continued the conversation about dicks. I'm like, if you would have just not brought it up, it wouldn't have continued. We could have broke But the now, cycle. like, I'm listening through the best of, because we did a best of that you couldn't have got unless you were a geek fest. So fun fact, you missed an episode. You're welcome if you're listening to this later. So, uh, you know, we're, t- we're talking about it. I'm like, dude, we did mention dicks, like, a lot. Like, we are, like... <laughs> We are like borderline upsetting about this. <laughs> and it's bad because we were trying to make it like family friendly. At first. We wanted to confuse people and think that, oh, I could listen to this with my kids. You can't listen to this with your kids. I can't listen with anybody. It's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we both say every week like our moms listen. And then halfway through we were like, oh, man, don't talk about how your mom listens no more. Because if my mom heard this, she would be so sad with me. She would be like, depressed at my, life. And my, my wife will probably say something here. But could you see my mom just being like, Matthew. Like she just would look at me and be like. Like, I'd probably get, like, the full name, and then she'd just shake her head and be done with it, because she'd be like, that sounds about right. <laughs> like, she just went... That's like Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much Thanksgiving dinner. It's just my mom being sad about me. Mm. Yeah, I think that's everybody's <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to tell my mom not to listen to this. I'm going to tell your mom to listen to this. I'm going to mail it when to her house. hanging out. Um, later? <laughs> later, when we're hanging out I thought out you were going to say banging. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. That's no offense to your mom. That's just offense to you because I don't want to be your dad. I thought you like dudes. <laughs> I don't want to be your real dad. Um, okay, cool. So you didn't play anything except for Lucio Ball? I don't think so. I I, I played I played a bunch of like games because I built those retro pies. Yeah. And I, I played some of those games just testing it. But, I mean, literally, I have not played anything. I don't know. So you're, don't you're just playing like Tomba for yeah. fun? I, it was... <laughs> I did Man, some, that was a random game to pick. At least know, one person was like, that. "Oh yeah, Tomba." I, like, I, I played some Bonk. That's what I played. Dude, so. Bonk is sweet. I yep. still hold. I still hold on to. And maybe David, you you and I have never talked about this before. I think that Bonk was probably way better as a mascot than anything else was. Like if uh, Bonk had been out on like a more major console. Um, I think that it probably would have won as like the mascot for like the early eras of gaming because Bonk is so much cooler than Mario and Sonic. They suck. They're good games. They're fine, but yeah, they're, they're not. Really Bonk is better. Has no, anybody no, I'm here Bonk, played Bonk? Bonk before? is a good game. Bonk? No. Bonk's no, Adventure. People don't even know. Ain't hey, nobody played Bonk. Turbo Bonk. Graphic 16. Bonk is Most sweet. Don't even know what that is. Okay, so man. Okay, so here's Bonk. For anybody who doesn't know what Bonk is, and that includes all the people in the room apparently, Bonk was awesome. It was like a like a platform game where you like this little caveman and you use your head to kill things. So you like headbutt. He looked like a little baby. He did. He looked like a little baby. Oh, oh. And yeah, and he could eat things and get different powers. So he'd grow into like a giant like like T Rex looking dinosaur with tiny arms and like a super anime face, like baka baka baka. And he was like destroyed like big sections of the map it was sweet he had a bunch of different powers he could fly he could turn into a chicken for some fucking reason like he had all kinds of sweet shit he could Why do did he turn into a chicken in, which, which one is it yeah it was, it was like super bonk Two? Uh, so it would have been the one on super nintendo okay yeah. so but yeah it, like he was a really interesting character he was way cooler he had so many better abilities than like any of the other like he couldn't fly though yeah well who could fly, <laughs> he uh, turn into fly hey can i can i tell you real quick flying brought me to you and that's some bullshit <laughs> i ain't trying to fly nowhere ever again hey you're lost you're going back to ohio i know uh, you're getting the balls to that i think you're getting deported <laughs> you're getting deported for i'm probably pretty close to it no politics in the podcast no, we're hashtag no politics in the podcast okay. hashtag hashtag edit that out I'm not editing. No wall in this is not gonna be edited at all. No, this is going up. I'm not gonna edit it. No, I didn't want anything else. Bonk's Revenge. There it is. They, had, they had three games on the Turbo Graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty Turbo sweet. Is one of my and Airzonk, Airzonk was like a shooter. I don't know what those. You, you're, I think you're, you're making. Or Air Bonk. It was Airzonk, but it was Bonk. He was like a different character. Uh, David just made a game up. Everybody, <laughs> how cool Early is that? Access. Google it right now. Air hey Zonk. guys, ga- guys, gaming with scissors podcast. We could always come for the fakest ass news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no politics on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag real too fake. That's an inside joke in case anybody didn't know. Uh, it's super bonk. Uh, there is an air zonk. David's 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 cell phone is the color of urine. <laughs> and I don't know why. Because I peed on it. So Like regularly? Anyway, so, okay. What cool. did you play, Matt? Did uh, you play anything? I didn't play anything. I tried to play um, something on my PSP. I don't remember what it was. Genital, my PSP died on the way here. Did you play genital jousting? I did not play genital jousting. <laughs> that is a special game. If you guys want to play genital jousting, you should do that because that's fun. It's just dicks going in butts. That's literally what that the is, game is. That is the game. That's ho- that looks horrible. 
David just showed me a picture of... It's like uh, a robot bonk. Yeah. I told you. It looks, uh, it looks like some kind of Astro Boy That's shit. what killed Bonk right there. Was it? Uh, sadness and dismay was killed game? Bonk. I'm not sure. yeah, it was the last game, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I didn't play much of anything. I played some uh, Overwatch 2, but uh, I actually played uh, Doomfist, which I hadn't played yet. Like, that's how long it's been since I played Overwatch last time. And I was like, hey, this guy's kind of fun. Why am I bad at this? And then I was like, oh, that's why I don't play this game anymore. Because you're bad at this Because I'm bad at all of it except for just healing people. So my primary position in life is just to stand near somebody doing things better than me. Man. That's like, that's exact. That's a great metaphor for everything I do in life. This is life? Yeah, it's just my life in general. Like, <laughs> hey, that guy's better at this than me. I'm going to stand by him forever. <laughs> I'll keep him alive so he keep me alive. Yep, that's it. Boom. A ten-year-old kid that said he had sex with your mom. Yeah. No, we can't hear people. Yeah, I don't listen to nobody. Do nothing. You <laughs> want to hear a ten-year-old kid having sex with your mom? You need to play uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Oh my Those God. kids make up cuss words I ain't never heard before. <laughs> listen, <laughs> what I said, they, they, there's, they show you cuss words for every letter of the alphabet. Yeah. Some cuss words you've never heard before, and you're like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, like I'm we're we're like grown-ass men. Like I gotta Google that. I don't know what you <laughs> what just said to me. What does that word mean? Yeah. Like it's fine. I'm not worried about it. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a good time to uh, hear kids throw racial slurs around like in a, a uh, chat. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it is. It's the mini game before the game. You catch people on fire and you call them bad names. Yeah, that is that is player yeah. known. Mostly mostly things you couldn't repeat in public without fear of being arrested or beaten. But that's fine. That's what the internet is for. It's for saying shit you shouldn't say anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Hey, I just got real true right there. That was true facts. All right, cool. Well, I didn't do anything, so we have two topics. So we're going to cut this portion a little short uh, this week just because I have two things that I want to talk about. So uh, we're going to take one more break. Audience, again, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, we will be right back. We have I know to I'm edit at, I, in four commercials. Hey. We have to edit the gap. So far in the first segment, we've, we're a 10-year-old fucking our mom <laughs> and then sucking our first dick at 16. <laughs> We really yeah, earned our like mature stamp this week. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're we're getting the red flag. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, hey, we're back, and uh, Ricky just informed us how many horrible, horrible human violations we made in the he's first got, portion of this podcast. He's got the dick counter out. We ain't, we ain't get no money for this episode. <laughs> yeah. 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 Episode of Game of Thrones. Hey, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. just dicks and butts. It is. It's, <laughs> it's just dicks and butts. It's just dicks and butts. Yeah, this is way worse than Game of Thrones. Just hang around. We're going to decapitate somebody in about fifteen minutes. It'll be awesome. It'll be. Who's your favorite? Hey, everybody in here. Who's your favorite character? They're going to die by the time this is over. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write it up on my <laughs> Commodore. <laughs> what? I don't even know. Spoilers. You don't know what we're I, talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, I stopped watching Game of Thrones because of the vagina ghost witch. That's a spoiler if you haven't seen like season two. So that's that's not a spoiler. That's just people being lazy. It's garbage. You need to shut up. <laughs> hey, you need to shut up, Ricky. <laughs> people people are trying to spoil Game of Thrones. It's because Ricky he cheated. He, Ricky cheated and downloaded it from Spain. Oh man, Espanol. Have to edit that out. Yeah, I'm not editing it. <laughs> it's auto translated. It's out. Yeah, it's auto translated. So, uh, all right, cool. So, real quick for our uh, our topics this week, I really wanted to get into why Sean let his kid break a $700 pinball machine. $1,700 pinball machine. It's even worse. That was owned by another staff member for this website, and uh, why he walked away and his kid didn't come back. I assume it has something to do with the cost of that machine. <laughs> All Did right. you kill your child? I um I I almost I, I came so close to breaking her in half. So do you want to? Do, well, actually, you know what? Who, who was there? You were both there, right? Yeah. So David, I want to let David explain. It. Tell us exactly what happened. Well, I was eating chicken wings. Was it my yeah. husband's fault? He That's, was. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm relaying the 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 car, the events in my head. Uh, now Sean was actually talking to somebody about the website and. And not paying attention to his daughter. <laughs> his 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 wife asked and, us to uh, verify that And I can't that point. remember uh, Dylan's exact words. What were they? Whoa whoa whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> no no! It was it was, <laughs> it was it was more of a whoa whoa whoa! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and he ran out of his shoes. <laughs> yeah, literally. His shoes exploded. He left his shoes behind. He was like, "Fuck shoes! I don't need these." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I say the real story? Okay, tell the real story. Since, it's usually made up. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> it's made the real made-up made story. Whatever. Okay, so here's, here's, what, here's what happened. All right, All right, guys, are you ready for the Alex Jones version? The Alex Jones version. This is the Alex story. Jones version of the story. When he was 16. When he, when I, no. <laughs> no. No. All right, so what happened was. Does this have to do with bone drink? No, it doesn't have anything with chicken bone drink. 
Oh, no, I never. Pinball machines turned over for all the kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm holding my kid in my lap, right? She's sitting on my knee. And this person comes up and starts talking to me. And wait, 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 wait. Be sure to tell them that you were putting her in uh, no, full no. I, she, she didn't have. I was, she was in a headlock uh, of some sort. <laughs> he was RKOing his kid. No, I was right, not. We got it. Okay, so <laughs> took I her to her. Suplex like, City. Hold on, no. I was holding her. Hey, you Brock Lesnar motherfucker! Put your kid down. No, they just had security mason you. Let's That's why she dropped onto the machine. Okay, I'm sorry. Please go on with your made-up story. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I'm holding my kid right, and she's like squirming, trying to get free, and I'm like holding her, like you know, got her. And she eventually slides down. I kind of get her in a headlock. And I'm trying to pick her back up while this person is talking to me, asking me questions about the website. So I pick her back up, and she like slides back down. I pick her up, she slides back down. And then finally, she like puts her arms up in the air and slides out like a lizard. And then I, I said, "Excuse me, hold on." I turn, and she runs towards the pinball machine and just goes wham and hits it. And the top scoreboard part just goes. Boom, falls down, hits the play field, the glass play field, and I was just like, the loudest bang you've ever heard. Entire silence. This is, <laughs> we were not in a quiet area. Everyone dead quiet. Somebody died. <laughs> and I looked over there, I jumped up, I ran to her, and then the only person that moved, the only person that said anything was the cop. She jumps over, runs over, she's like, is your kid okay? And I was like, <laughs> she's fine! And I grabbed her, and I ran outside with her. He's like, and she, she ain't about to back. be... You come find her in 15 minutes, she'll be in the parking lot alone. <laughs> I said, I'm not taking her back. <laughs> no. So that's, that's honestly what happened. And I had little control over her slimy little body because she, she is a, like an amphibian child. And <laughs> she, just, she decided that she was going to wreak havoc for some reason. Right. It's because she shares her DNA. Yes. It has nothing to do with anybody else but you. Yeah, right. Yeah, she was like, she was like, whose dreams can I crush today? My mom and dad are already broken. It's time to shatter a stranger's dreams. <laughs> well, who's luckily, luckily, this, who's this guy over here handing out T-shirts? Fuck your dreams. She Dylan, just smashes the thing. Dylan's got the best life ever. I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> he got all these nice things. But Dylan, Dylan, it was everything was okay though, right? We don't know yet. What don't we know? I'm looking. I'm assessing physical damage. Is there really broken things? Still plays like a channel. We'll have to wait till the insurance company can look at it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to assess. Tell it, see what's what's going to happen. This is going to be a loan shark situation. Sean's just going to come home one day. He's going to be like, "Yeah, my knees was always broken." Uh, also, can no I borrow seventeen hundred dollars? <laughs> His wife's going to be like, "Don't worry, I can get a divorce online now. There's a Google Facebook app for it. Uh, a Google <clears> Facebook app. A, go- a Google Book app." Google book. There's a Google book app for it. Oh. Hey, guys, I work in IT. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, yeah. So, uh, your kid made an adult cry. Yeah. Well. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Did she cry? I would be so proud of her. No, she made it Whoa, 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 whoa. She made it outside no, no, no. before she cried. She cried. <laughs> No, well, she was she was scared. She wasn't yeah. sad about her decisions. She's she was like, like, "Fuck your machine." No, I regret nothing. She was like, <laughs> "Why does a ghost mouth open?" Like what I just. Did. She just screamed vendetta, and then she hit it. <laughs> so she's like, "Vendetta!" She just fucking breaks Dylan's dreams. I'm like, well, "You must have done some shit to her when nobody was looking, because <laughs> nobody has that much vengeance in their heart towards you unless you had done some shit." Then she was getting ready to pee on well, it before Sean stopped her. Or she's, or she's just a three-year-old. She just had a leg up. Yeah, she's just a three-year-old. Four-year-old. She's four. Oh my God, Sean doesn't even know how his kid. I, did you sustain a head injury during this situation? I feel did like it I did. Drop on you? I feel like it. <laughs> oh. I am. It's all. I'm Is so, he always sweats I'm like so that? So sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. We're always I'm this. So sweaty. We're always this sweaty and rambunctious, even when we're in different states. Think about that for a minute. We're just we're just grown men sweating in our basement and yelling at our microphone. That's cool. Well, no, no. Hey guys, you want to be a podcaster? This is what it is. It's, uh, what, it's, it's yelling at yourself in your basement. Mom, where's the meatloaf? And, and spooky skeletons. And spooky skeletons. Spooky yeah, party skeletons. That's what it is. Spooky party ke- skeletons. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to do a shameless plug. We've got new uh, T-shirts on our website that are pretty cool. That are quotes from several of the podcasts that we pulled during the best of. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, T-shirt dot pizza. T-shirts dot pizza, which is actually another joke that we had from the. Uh, a previous episode, uh, we were joking about how we were going to buy t-shirts.pizza because it's easy to remember, and then I did. So we own t-shirts.pizza now. That's an actual website you can go to. And it just um, sells our shirts. Now we need yeah. to make a, a shirt with uh, Sean's kid destroying a pinball machine. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, and like, Dylan crying. Like, I'm just, doing this in one 
I'm just gonna go out on the floor and be like, could you? I'll be like, I'll be like, hey, can I commission some art? I'm gonna need you to draw in the style of anime, just this guy crying and then a tiny little girl laughing maniacally while his dreams burn. With a with could a pinball machine on fire. Yeah, just a pinball machine on fire. There should be a bubble. Vendetta! Vendetta. She just says vendetta. We're doing it. We're yeah, doing it. we should do it. And then okay, it'll be I'll, f- t- I'll tell Johnny he needs to get that done. Yeah, Johnny, can you draw that for us? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later, man. All right, cool. So, uh, all right, my other topic I wanted to get through real quick uh, is, uh, not real quick, I got, we, we got time. But, uh, yeah, so we decided that uh, you guys all showed up here uh, to watch us podcast, so we're going to uh, poop on all your favorite games. <laughs> um, so for the, you guys have, have not listened to the show before, essentially, uh, we each had these games that, that we really can't stand that are like classic games. And, uh, we thought it'd be kind of funny to go around and talk about them. Uh, do you want me to do David's for him? Anybody? Cause, uh, Mario 64, uh, <laughs> Mario, ha- he hates Mario 64. Now I hate Mario as a thing. Like I don't like Mario at all. Um, you don't like him cause he's Italian. Not, no, <laughs> I, you know what, I take that. No, you know I do like him in Party Hard. That's a deep, that's a deep joke right there. Because you said we were talking about in the one in our last yeah. two episodes ago. Sean finally played Party Hard. If nobody's in here played Party Hard, it's a murder simulator, literally. Like you're a guy at a party and you have to kill all the guests without anybody else noticing you did it. You got to be a good serial killer. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So if you break a window, this guy just comes and he just is dressed like Mario and he's got a wrench. He's like, bucka, 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 and then the window closes up and then he, he walks like, away. He bangs the window until it's bored. It up, yeah, and then he's like, "It's a fake." Yeah, and, and then, then he just, just like walks away. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, "What the fuck is happening?" I need to like, get out that window. Yeah, so I like that version of Mario. That dude's rad as but, hell. But he doesn't. Lo- he looks more like Mario from like the the, the Super Mario Brothers movie, movie than he does yeah. from the game. <laughs> he so. just looks like a six foot tall man that's sad he showed up to work today. Yeah, because that, that's the same thing it was in the Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. Um, oh, I like the Mario Brothers movie. I do too. That's, oh. what, that's cause you're both bad people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're the worst people I've ever met. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you don't like Mario 64, which I think is interesting. Right. Can you um, expand on that? Yeah. Why, why is it that you don't like it? I, other than the shitty Nintendo 64 controller, which does that suck. And the bad cameras. Yeah. Uh, will, will you play it on 3DS when there's like a better oh, version? Oh yeah, I heard it was, I heard it was better. You I just don't like. It? I just don't like going to the same levels seven times. That's stupid. You, you gotta get it. all them stars. Yeah, it's dude. dumb. It's a collectathon. That's why Sean plays it. No, there's he no likes, loot boxes. There. Yeah, Sean loves loot box gambling. That's kind of the same thing. Hey, go get this garbage in the same spot over and over again. That's just wow. Well, that's in different. It's in different places. That's different garbage. Hey guys, <laughs> guess which game I don't like that everybody else likes. Uh, Wow, I can't stand it, dude. If I wanted to do the same thing over and over again, I would live my shitty life. Hey, go to work and come home. Cool, I do that already. Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't coming home to do it. But, okay, so may, may I rebute, rebute your, hey, David, your dislike? Do you, do you like WoW? No. Okay, so it's two on one. With your but shitty WoW. I also have no friends, so I kind of played it by myself. You can find imaginary friends. <laughs> yeah, Dave, David, David doesn't play video games. He, oh. I don't play MMO. He doesn't play video games produced after, like, 1984. I just got done saying I play Arkham Knight. Yeah, he played Knight. all them Batman games. He, made that, Batman he, games. he made that up, though. He only played the bad ones. Look though, at my right? PlayStation 4, son. <laughs> he got one. <laughs> I, it's in my house. So, That's all you need to know. Oh, wait. I did play Shovel Knight today. Oh, Shovel. wait. That's a good game. Yeah. Oh, I, I have not played that game yet, actually. So I, I, I will, I will not. Uh, so, okay. Fine. So here's, here's my qualm <laughs> with you. Here's my qualm with you disliking World of Warcraft. All right. You're, you're you have not game. invested nearly enough time into this game. Okay, I'm right. gonna I'm gonna run something. You have to invest okay. at least ten years Re- in that game. Yeah, really quickly, I'm gonna take an audience poll, and I need you guys to get loud if you agree with me. Okay, so here's this new video game, guys. Here's this new video game, guys. Uh, you guys want to check it out? You're like, yeah, man, I want to check it out. I'm like, it's gonna take you two months before it's fun. Is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> oh, also, during those two months, you have to give me twenty dollars to have it, and then twenty dollars for each of those months. Is that going to be cool with it's you? It's more like sixty dollars to have it, and then twenty dollars per month. Are you guys going to be cool that, with that? Even would you, how quickly would you tell me to go fuck myself? <laughs> anybody, anybody signing up for that? No. no. I don't see anybody raising their hand or saying they want to sign up for that shit. I just described World of Warcraft, <laughs> <laughs> and yet you all in here probably played it. Uh, it's a good game. It's not a good. It game. is a much, and it's much better now. Hey, do you do you guys like running through the same areas, doing the same shit over and over, and nothing happening afterwards? Then you're gonna love WoW. And you like a crappy combat system? World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Warcraft they got it. Yeah. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot win that argument with me. And then I'm like, hey, I was playing ESO. He's like, you didn't invite me. I'm like, why would I, bitch? All you're gonna do is be like, I want to play some WoW. <laughs> 
play some WoW with can me. Can we play WoW? <laughs> can, I, can we play WoW? And I'm going to go, no. When I can like do whatever the fuck I want in WoW, we'll play WoW. I can walk into a city and stab a guy if I want to in ESO just for fun because he's there. And I'm like, I don't like your face today. Pop! And yeah, I can but make it's a him terrible dead. game. That's fun to me. I can't you see the problem with games is like I want to do things I can't do in real life. So sometimes when I'm standing at my booth and somebody says some shit in me, I just want to smack the taste out their mouth. But I can't do it in real life, so I have to do it in a video game. That's how it works out. It what work makes out. it bad, Sean? What makes what bad? ESO. It, it looks ugly. That he never played it. Before. I've never played it before. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I can't get behind it. I saw it was it was really bad at launch. I yeah, it was terrible at launch. It was not playable. ESO. Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Online. Online. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, can we expand on this? And my game that I cannot stand, I cannot play, is Skyrim. I'm going to stab you. Because, okay, hold on. I can't do it. And it's not necessarily because the game is bad. I don't. I cannot play a game that I have so much freedom to do anything I want to because I have this shiny syndrome. Because you're used to WoW. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's other games. It's other games. It's not just WoW. So I go on... I get through the opening like little bits where they teach me how to do all the controls. I get out into the world and I say, "Oh my gosh, look at this open world! It looks amazing." So what do I gotta do? I go talk to guy, some guy in a city about a fish. I'm like, "Okay," walking over there, and then as I'm walking, I see, "Oh, there's some ruins over there." I wonder what's over there. Walk into the ruins. Oh, cool! I kill a skeleton, and then I say, "Oh, there's a tree over there. What's that tree?" And then 15 hours later, I'm on the other side of the map, being dead because that's all. What you described to me sounds incredibly fun. Yeah, awful. it sounds amazing. I, I, have I just, you, you know you don't have to touch like every bartender's butt when you go into the place. You can choose not to do that shit. But like you can just be like, I don't want it right now. It's the, or like, if there's bandits running, that's fun. You get to clothesline them. You get to feel like Eddie Guerrero. You're just taking people out left and right. It don't matter. But, no, the, you need to give me, I need a little bit of linear, like, oh, g- give me direction. I need to go that way. There I is a, do a thing. There, there is, is a line. It's, it's, it's a line of text to do that thing over there. And I'm like, look at all this other stuff I hey, can do. Hey, Sean. It's ADD. I'm just going to throw this out there. Boy. How much how much voice recorded audio is in WoW? I don't, a lot? There is zero. It is, there is none. a lot. There, there, is, there, is, there is animated intros and animated shit at the end. You... But in the middle, it's just big ass boxes of text <laughs> no. that you scroll through for like 10 years. He's like, yeah, it's so lore heavy. I'm like, I ain't reading a book, bitch. If I want to read a book, I would go get a book. I want to say dumb and I want to play a video game. Sky- I don't give a shit about books. Sky- if I give a shit about books, I wouldn't be here yelling at you. Uh, I'd be somewhere doing smart guy things. There is, you get to the end of a quest chain, and there's usually some big cinematic thing that happens, and then there's talking, and then there's dragons. <laughs> there I don't are. watch Game of Thrones either. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> did you just did you just tell me the political situation right now? You just go through a bunch of shit. There's an animated cutscene. Everybody's dead. And there's dragons. That sounds like fucking politics, and those aren't allowed on this podcast. <laughs> Hashtag no politics on the podcast. People are very sad that they showed up in here. Oh, no. Like, everybody, like, we Look lost, like, world. almost everybody. We're down to just, like, the people we know and We're three other people. We're down to 50 people yeah. now. And you yeah. guys versus Rocky Horror. Yeah, uh, I, know. I know, yeah, but we are competing with Rocky Horror, which is a great time. What? I know. Everybody's going to win something free. You know what's really fun? You win a box of Pokemon. I'm hoping that next door they can hear our bullshit and it's a family-friendly show. You win they're, some free time They're on just wow. like, we just heard a bunch of stuff talking about dongs through that wall. Can you make that stop? I didn't say there's an orgy going on there. <laughs> Run into their area because they, they ran in here and they were like, oh, man, come in here. We should just go into their area and be like, hey, we're doing dong talk next door if y'all are interested. Hey, there's naked ladies in here. There's just naked well, ladies well, everywhere. There's, no, there's only two ladies in here. There's a guy who banged his own mom. <laughs> We no, un- it was a deep repressed. Mom. It was a deep repressed memory. We unseated it in here because we're that damn good. And someone's dead. We're fixing the financial crisis. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like wow. No, we gotta have more. Uh, games can I like. can I name my own game besides somebody? <laughs> name <laughs> we were, we're not gonna force it on you. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. What don't you like? I don't have anything. You're self <laughs> shit. You're self full of shit. You hate so many over. games. You always ask me. I know you hate like Bloodborne and all those games. No, I like Bloodborne. Do you? Uh, sorry. You were talking so much shit to me when I was playing Bloodborne. He's like, you play a stupid game for it. And he's like, hey, go to PS4 and we'll go play some Bloodborne. <laughs> like, hey, hey, let me see if my bag of dicks is still full so I can give it I to you. I don't think I said I didn't like it. I just said I wasn't very good at it. That's not what you said. No. You were like, you were like, hey, I'm gonna cry on my mom's boobs about you playing Bloodborne. <laughs> I'm all yeah. sad inside. And then I licked them off. Oh. God. oh. I- I want everybody to know that all the pedophilia and weird mom stuff is coming out of David's mouth. It's all just falling out of one guy's mouth. No. At least it's not going in my mouth. Oh, God damn it. Oh, uh, hey, Ricky, how many mature podcasts do you have? Because you have another one now. We made this for you. 
<laughs> this is great. So, I'm just like uh, watching the ratings go up. Yeah, dude. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so it's, no, seriously, we're doing uh, classic games that everybody likes, but I really Well, it doesn't have to be classic. It can be anything. anything. Play anything. You already named WoW. That's a big one. Yeah. Because yeah. it sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else? Skip me. I'll, I'll keep thinking. Skip. Talk, amo- time for your ta- talk amongst yourselves. Um, so uh, yes. what, can we can we just talk about bad games in general then? Because yes. I think I think okay. So does anybody remember? It was like a like a weird techno Viking game that came out on like 360. It was it was just like Vikings and oh, it, it was, was supposed uh, to be. Come on, David. We ain't got time for this. Yeah, it had like it had like Vikings in it who were like. It was supposed to be really good, but it was. It yeah, terrible. it came out. It was really shitty. It was like a twin stick shooter. Was um, it a shooter? I thought it was a. Or I'm sorry. It was, well, no, it was like a, it was like a, it was kind of like a twin stick shooter. So one stick moved you, and the other stick did your attacks. So like there was yeah. no like attack button. It was really Rome, shitty. Rome. No. no Rome. Total War. It wasn't Rome. No, it was, that's, that's I'm looking for it. But anyway, so this game was so bad. I believe it was by Silicon Knights. If yeah, I'm not. It was. I can't yeah. So it was a Silicon Knights game. It was so bad that you they mean? had to pull it. Like they they pulled all the copies off the shelves, <laughs> and I I purchased it going like. Dude, I can't wait. Like, this is going to be so good. Because you like, love Vikings. Because I love Vikings. Like, I'm obsessed with anything that's got Vikings in it. I'm like, I'm going to play this right now. It was and, too uh, human. Too human. That was it. Yep. So, uh, you know, and they had, they had this whole thing, and they're like, yeah, we got, like, Loki, and he's, like, making weird shit happen, and it's, like, Vikings, but they're all, like, mechs, and they're sweet looking, and you're like, yeah, man, I can't wait to play this. It looks badass. The opening cinematic's, like, kind of janky, but it's okay. Yeah, so uh, it, it's kind of okay. But then, like, you go to play the game, you're like, what the fuck is happening? And I made myself beat that game. I was like, I'm well, in you now. Played it all the, why'd you play it all the way through? I fucking, I have a mental disorder. I don't know why I played it all the way through. Like, I was just like, I'm in too deep. I gotta finish. So, like, I finished it out, right? And, like, the ending of it is a huge cliffhanger. Because the entire time, like, like Loki's doing shit from this giant cryo container or some shit. I don't remember. It was like Spider-Man. Ice Cube. It was essentially like Spider-Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. He's just, like, in the wires or whatever. So, um... Anybody who's seen The Amazing Spider-Man 2 will get that joke, which is, like, apparently nobody in here. Nobody My wife. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's, like, in the wires or whatever doing all this janky shit. And then, at the end, he opens the container and climbs out, and he's, like, talking about how he's going to get all crazy, and then the game ends. And then they fucking got – all the copies got pulled and it got so shut down. It's never going to finish. I'm, like, so – I'm, like, double pissed because, first of all, this game had Vikings, and it looked sweet, and I wanted to play it, right? And I was all excited about it. So that's all fine and dandy. But then it sucked – and then on top of that, I beat it even though it sucked, just hoping like the story would be good, and it pooped on me because it was like, hey, you want to see number two? Never going to happen. It'll let you down forever. <laughs> Silicon Knights makes me sad. Too Human makes me sad. That game sucks. should be triple mad because they had to pay like $9 million in lawsuits. Yeah. yeah. Like, you could have got your money back. Yeah, they paid like an obscene amount in lawsuits over it because it was, it was that bad. Like, it was that bad and broken. Um, I actually got mine second hand because I think that's the only way you can get it. <laughs> you could probably get it on eBay. Um, It'll but be yeah. super rare now if they pulled copies. Hey man, I got copies. If anybody wants a copy, you can have my. You got a box. You got a crate full of them. You can have my janky. That's like having copy. copies of Cheetah Man too. Cheetah, yeah, Cheetah Man. It's a it's an ET situation. Yeah, it's it's ET. You I still had to, You know, before they dug them up, I I wanted to do a review because I was trying to combo up movie reviews and game reviews. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I bought a copy of the E.T. Atari game on eBay before they dug up that whole fucking thing. Mm-hmm. It, I paid $12 for that game. I've never been so mad about some of my life. Mm-hmm. But somebody sitting at this table loves the E.T. Atari game. It's awesome. You Ooh. fucking... You're the worst. You you are essentially... Tell David how you play. God. I can finish it in two minutes. Yeah, he can finish it in two minutes <laughs> with no bad guys on. Uh, That's some bullshit. <laughs> I can finish Streets of Rage in two minutes if there ain't no bad guys in it. Just run. Just I can, right. I can finish WoW in two minutes if there ain't no bad guys in no, it. There, I just know. open the console and open the program and then close it. And I'm win- I won because you, I didn't I'll, play it. So I won. I'll tell you a story about WoW is, is uh, talking about no bad guys. When you The first ten levels, the bad guys don't even attack you. You just walk up right. to him and just That's look intentional. At him. It's teaching you how to use a control. That's stupid. It's no. so funny. Sean's I like, want you have to kill learn. bad guys. You, you, you got to learn how to use WAS and left click to attack, then hit one I, and then I wait on it to cool down. I a whole group of them and they wouldn't do anything until I started attacking them. This is true that a lot of the enemies are, are passive. It's bad. It's you got to learn how to play the game first. <laughs> you click a mouse a billion times. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't even do that. You hit one through nine a billion times. You're just like, what my ability is? One. <laughs> is that on cooldown? Two. Okay, one. Okay, two. All right, it's dead. What's the next thing we do? Oh, we just walk over there and do it ten more times so that I can turn this quest in? This is a fun game. I can't wait to play this some more. 
And then Sean goes, you were being a dick. And I'm like, yeah, I am. Because I'm sad I'm doing this with you. And I'm only doing it so that we can bond because you're like my internet dad or whatever the fuck relationship we've got going on. Oh, hey, I thought of a game while we were talking about bullshit games. All of them. Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, everyone at the table, I think, can agree. That yeah. Well, here's the it's, thing. It's more pointless than WoW, I think. Here's the thing with Call of Duty, though, right? Like, when, like, 4 came out, you know, all those... Modern Warfare? Yeah, when yeah. those games were coming out, we there were there were big shooters, but we didn't have shooters of that, like, size. Those yeah. things took the hell over, man. I kind of liked it more when it focused on the single player as opposed to the multiplayer. Right, but when that took over, it was a big shift in gaming culture, though. So it is important, but it's one of those things that's like... Like, Kiss is an important band, but they still suck. Kiss sucks. If okay. you like... If you like Kiss, you're a bad person. See, and, and that's, that's essentially, because we're talking about Mario 64, that's essentially how I feel about yeah. Mario 64 is. Absolutely. Is, I always say it, just because something is revolutionary doesn't make it good. Like, wow. Right. Yeah, I, actually, you know, I, I will hands down say that, that, that for you, I can understand why you don't like it because of how your brain works and the things that you find interesting. So I can, I can completely respect that. He's saying because There's I hit something my, wrong with your brain. Because I, yeah, I hit my head at some point and I have a brain injury. <laughs> he's, like, why this he's, game like, is good. he's like, you remember that time somebody hit you with their car and your face hit the hood, which is a real thing that happened to me? He's like, yeah, that's why you don't like wow. So you can be excused. You're excused to not so, like that game. So I can understand why a lot of people don't like it. So I can get that you may, may not like it. But it did revolutionize how massively multiplayer games work. Are made because every single MMO is compared. Is this a WoW killer? Can it compare to WoW? So the, it did something right, and maybe not everyone will like it. That's kind of how I feel about the N64. Is Mario 64, the 3D controls? That was something completely new. Okay, they are horrible. The worst controls of any game. Like you give me a 3D game, and it is it is better than Mario. Not 64. worse than no, Resident no. Evil One. No, Superman 64. Okay. Yeah, okay, but still, Mario 64. They did a lot of things right. They are not fun, but they did them right, and it kind of led way to the current like 3D what we have now. Yeah, Mario so, yeah. Galaxy is better. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Sunshine Galaxy. Okay, you know I take I did like I do like Sunshine a lot. It's a good game. But like that's because it's Shoot not a Mario game. Yeah, it ain't a Mario game. It's really not a Mario. I'm Fireman. Game. Yeah, yep. it's literally just like, hey, I'm just a guy with a backpack. The game, <laughs> but it's still fun. Yeah, fun like, like literally, you could just swap that shit out and just put Ghostbusters on it. It'd be the best Ghostbusters game I've ever played. That would be an awesome game. Hey, somebody get on that. Who in here knows how to mod games? <laughs> I need you to mod Mario Sunshine. So I'm <laughs> Ghostbusters. Make it Ghostbusters. Make my make my water it, make Slimer. Sad. I think it was called Luigi's Mansion. Oh, that, dude. that game was great though. <laughs> That's I can like see. I love. I can't believe. Yeah, I always like Luigi better because I'm tall and awkward and shitty. So and I was like, when Luigi you jump, you, anyway. you kick your legs and float like you're in water. I do, I do. So yeah. All right. Well, what other games uh, would you say were maybe revolutionary but you hated? Do we have we have we have a suggestion from the audience? What, what game? About, what bad games that you like? Bad games that I just like. That's all the games Ooh. I like. like bad I, games that maybe nobody that people think are trash. Like Minecraft. Minecraft. I yeah I do I love Minecraft. Man. I people, like Minecraft. People get mad about Minecraft. I do kind of like Minecraft, but you know what? Like, and I I've said this before. That's my hate list. Uh, Sean one of loves my, Minecraft. One of my favorite games of all time is the original Resident Evil. Have you tried to play that lately? So bad. It's really bad. It's a it's a truly bad game. But at the time, it was the. It was amazing. And now that. it's getting to the point where it's so cool, especially with Seven coming out. For people like that one wasn't that good, right? That I one wasn't seven. that good. I like it. I I still like it. I will always like it. I think they're great. I, see, I don't. I don't think. I think that because I play like I've had a big shift in the last few years into like indie games that I play a lot less shitty games because indie games a lot of times, even if they're bad, they're they good. gave a shit about what they were doing, and that's so much more important to me than like, you know, how big the budget was or how shiny it is. Um, I could care less about shine. Yeah, I've actually been playing. I have. I have a. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's one that Sean hates, or a lot of people haven't been enjoying us playing, but we've been enjoying it. Has anybody in here ever heard of Anchorhead? Okay, I talked about it a little bit. Exactly. Nobody cares about that game. Right. So Anchorhead is a text adventure game from the 90s. I streamed it on Twitch. So think about that for a minute. So we streamed a text adventure game on Twitch. So you guys hear how poorly I speak. Can you imagine how poorly I read and spell? Okay. So I, 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 we, we played through this game, and I was having a really good time. Like I was, I was bad at it. But I was having a really good time, and those are like some of those like forgotten games where people like look at it and they're like, Bleh. you know, like who cares? So I, I think that that kind of fits in that category. And another one that kind of fits into our earlier category, like Doom. I hate Doom. 
I don't really like Doom that much. Like the original Doom? Yeah. Or the new one? The original Doom. Okay. I don't really like the original Doom. And I, at the time when I was a kid, it blew my fucking mind. But like as an adult, you didn't have looking anything to compare it, it to, though. Well, at the time, now looking at it, like I almost have to have Brutal Doom on to play it. So what Brutal Doom is, is Brutal Doom adds a lot of the, the shit back into the original Doom that we have now. So you can look up and down. There's like a lot of like really There's cool like ragdoll physics in it. Ragdoll, yeah. So all that shit is put back into the original Doom. Well, that, now it's fun, right? Because if you try and play Doom now, you get sad. <laughs> it's a sad, sad game when you're trying to play that. So, it's tough. Yeah. So, I mean, like, but yeah, like those text-based games, I've always loved those. And I don't know why. I think it's just because I like to use my brain. And I've always liked story more than I've liked... I mean, gameplay is important, but stories... Is that why the game. only games you ever play are point-and-click adventures? No, it's because it's the only thing I can stream, son. Because <laughs> you have bad internet? I have potato internet in Ohio. <laughs> I like, you got, you I got, like you guys got You guys got some goddamn space-age internet over here. I'm like, what's happening over here? Do you guys, like, you know, cure all the world's diseases with your internet? You're like, no, we can just look at boobs faster. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. That's cool. Good for you. So yeah. you like text-based adventure games, too? You know what? Well, text and uh, point-and-click. Point and clicks are fun, but you really only like the LucasArts ones, though, right? Yeah, uh, Sierra's pretty good, too. Hey. Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah, it's hey, can, yeah. can we talk about Police Quest? Oh, we can. You guys want to talk? Have anybody here played the original Police Quest? Oh, Not my the God. The remake? All right. Oh, my God, dude. Which, what, what, yeah, we, we did the remake. No. No, yeah. we, we didn't do the original Yeah, one. we did the 90, what, 95 remake. Yeah, because it originally came in, like, 89, right? Yeah. Something like that. Okay, so we did this version 2. If, if anybody, we, had, we streamed it on yeah. Twitch, and I don't, it's not up there now. If you ever want to see Sean oh. get furious enough to flip something. So there's <laughs> literal recorded audio of him punching his microphone during one of our podcasts <laughs> when I brought it up. Like, he's just like, I don't, you can't beat the damn game. We didn't get cocaine. And it was OJ Simpson. And he's like, he's like so mad. And all that makes sense in the context of the podcast, but it's on our best of thumb drive. So if any of you guys got that, that clip is on there. All right. So what happened was we're playing Police Quest. And first of all, it's an infuriating game. You're driving a police car around. You're being a cop. That's what you're okay. doing. I like that game. I like it too. For, it's yeah. not even like a fun cop. You're not like. It's, there's no arcadiness about it. It's, it's not a fun cop where you take people out of their car and hit them with a stick for no reason. You know, a fun cop. The kind that are in real life. No. Like, what? I'm not no. even a hot cop. No. So, no, it's like, I just want to be a cop with a mustache and my shirt unbuttoned. In real short shorts. Why can't I be that cop? You literally show up to work. You, you go and collect your radio. And you get naked, and you get in the shower, <laughs> and you look at a guy, and you're not allowed to talk to him because it's the rules of the police. Don't make eye contact in the shower. <laughs> Hashtag no politics on the podcast. I don't know if that's politics. It is. All right. Can't so talk about cop wieners on the podcast. You get out of the shower, you get your policeman clothes on, and then you got to drive around and arrest people, right? First, the driving around situation is the worst. It, j- sh- okay, so here's the thing. If you've never driven in Police Quest, it's literally like you have to come to full stops and use your turn signal. There's stop nothing, signs in the game. Nothing pisses stop. Sean off more than having to actually, you know, follow the rules of the road for whatever reason. But, okay, so here's the thing. If this was like, oh, I'm sitting in the police car and I'm actually driving. It's a 3D game. Uh, it, it's using a decent, I don't care if it's an old like need for speed <laughs> engine. No, this is before all that. Yeah. So it's top down look. So you're driving and you just have to keep hitting the W button. Drive or no, it's like clicking. You click yeah, on the yeah, accelerator. Yeah, yeah oh, you, you gotta slow down. Yeah. Click, so click, the, click the, the, the brake and the accelerator are like they're little pictures that are in a box on the floor, and you click down on the accelerator to drive, and you got like shift, and there's like a whole bunch of stuff to it. And you gotta watch your speed. You gotta too. watch your speed. Unless you turn Unless your, you your lights, lights on, on. Yep. and you just keep the lights on, and it doesn't matter. Right. So you drive. This is our situation. We we're driving around, and we saw a guy speeding through. We're like, we're gonna get this dude. So we go pull this guy over. Over. We get out and we try about 15 times. We get murdered every single time. <laughs> what do you do? You, you pull get... the guy over, he shoots you. You walk up to the car, he shoots you. You scream at him from a distance for too long, he shoots you. You want me to tell you how to do it? We got it. Uh, we we got, got, it. got it. Okay, so finally, we this is out when he quit playing, it. by the way. So we go, we, we pull the guy over, we get him arrested, we read him his rights, we take him out, and we go and we check the car, we get the VIN number, we call it in. Okay, cool. We go and we take him down to the police station. We get to the police station and we go to book him. Actually, we got killed once in front of the police station because I did it wrong. So yeah. he like got free and then shot me. For some reason, I didn't think his gun away. So he didn't. He didn't pat his dick hard enough, and he had a gun there. <laughs> so, anyway, so we got him in the police station. We go up to the Booker guy, and he's like talking me through like the glory hole in the glass. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, okay, why, why is he here? And we're like, oh, what do we do? Right. 
I didn't have I didn't have yeah. the original. I don't have the book. So I'm like, I don't know what code because you have to put a code in so, yeah. to book him. So you have to put the booking code in. So whatever he did, you have to type the booking code in, right? So you, it pops up this little like number pad and you type it in and the guy goes, Great. He was speeding. That's awesome. What else? And then so, it comes back up. So we go and I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do. So I looked it up online, right? I found there's like four codes you have to put in. Okay, so what was he doing? He's speeding. So boop, 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 boop. All right. He's like, oh, he's speeding. That's good. And then they go, boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's a stolen car. Thanks for the VIN number. And like, boop, 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 boop. And then uh, it was like domestic assault or something like that. So I was like, oh, good. And then they're like, what else? And I was like, what do you mean what else? That's it. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to look it up in the book. Yeah, what's his last code? So I looked up. And the last one, it was, so whatever the number was, I put the code in. And it was like, you can't book him for that. He didn't have no cocaine. I was like, what? Yeah. What do you mean no cocaine? There was no cocaine in the car. He's like, you can't book it. No, no possession. So he I tried it like four times, like, and it kills me. Yeah, he dies. A little like skull the guy, comes the guy at the police station kills me. Yeah. Or something. Or I had a stroke because I, I put it in the car. You lost off. your job, and you, I did. you committed suicide. The game let me progress without going around the car and taking the cocaine out of the glove box. Yeah. What kind of broken-ass <laughs> game lets me go past <laughs> where I can't go back Sh- to find the cocaine, and I'm stuck? So so these I games... De- we deleted that game. He was so mad. Like, that was... That was the point. That story is when he was literally punching his microphone. Oh, so uh, there was much, the there was much more the story. To it. So, but he, uh, so, so those games, if you if you've never played them, they're they're very like it's all about procedure. Very okay, s- like you come into the cop station, you sign into your time card, you go into the locker room, you change your clothes, you turn on the thing to you take the shower. Forgot about getting naked. Yeah, so a that's real cop would right. be easier. So, so I would know there's cocaine. So, I get so a that, dog. that's that's the whole thing, right? So. Uh, we're, we're, you know, playing through this game and Sean's thinking this is a point and click like Monkey Island. I, I'm thinking, you know, like, I had more in my mind, it was like, oh, King's Quest or Space right. Quest. It's all lighthearted and funny and it's, you know, it's jovial. This was not a jovial game. No. This, this is, was the garbagest of games. This is, this is like, hey man, we found a bunch of hookers' heads in that trash can and Sean's like, oh shit, this is a game. What's happening? Like the bikers. We go into the, to the, to this biker bar and I just walk in and some guy like turn around he's like, what are you doing in my bar? And I was like, I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> and then he runs over to me and pummels me to death in the stomach. That, yeah. was, that was the game. Yeah, so apparently in that situation, the correct police response is was to, just to beat him in the head to, first. It's to nightclub him in the dick <laughs> and then drag him outside. And then the other guys go, oh, shit, we're out too. And then that's how you defeat a biker gang, apparently. <laughs> you just so I will remember that in the future. Him. Just go for their balls. That's their weak spot. That's just it. one guy's balls. You just got to find the right guy. Um, so yeah, so, but I love those games. I, I think the procedure is fun. Um, if you've ever played any of the SWAT games, even there's like a very staunch procedure you have to do. Like you got to like look in all the rooms, you got to put your little mirror under, make sure there's nobody on the other side of the door when you kick it in. Cause if you kick it in and grandma's behind the door, SWAT. you could kill Nana and then you got to deal with that. And they're like, that's paperwork. And you're like, shit. And then it doesn't let you boot the game up for six months. Cause you're on probation. <laughs> you can get probated from the game. No, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to make that game though. So. Still, yeah, still better than one. So, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I like those games. I'm, I'm not sad that I like those games. I can play them all day. I, I played uh, what was it? Blue, blue steel, blue streak, something. Blue pants. Blue pants. That was the wrestler that blue nobody force. likes. Blue force. Yeah, I played blue force, and it was the same thing. Uh, but like, it was awesome. The first encounter you have on blue force is um, that we have a uh, a guy with a mullet and a really long handlebar mustache on a boat, and he's just ready to get in a gunfight with you. So that's uh, that's all, that's all we got going on. Do you, but, but David, you like like all the old games though. Yeah. Like, like, is there anything like besides ET? Is there anything that's like a really shitty game that no, you just I like, love? Or I like all the FMV games, like the full motion videos. People yeah, those are those. fun, man. Like uh, Phantasmagoria and all. Yeah, those. Phantasmagoria is one and two. Uh, Gabriel Knights one, two, and three. Well, two and three. <laughs> two is the FMV one, but three is you like that spaceship a little game janky, with Mark but Hamill. I like, which one? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, Wing Dude, Commander. I, like I hate Wing Commander. I hate Wing Commander. Yeah, there, there you go. You asked. No, he likes I it. I don't like Wing Commander. Mark Hamill. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Who cares? I played this game on arcade, and it's like a cartoon game. Dragon's Lair. Castle. Dragon's Lair. How the fuck do you play that? Uh, dude, it's, it's I, myth, I, okay. You take your quarters. I am third. I am. I am. I am in my mid thirties, and I have no fucking clue how to play that game. Like, okay, so so somebody in our crowd, in case you couldn't hear it. Yeah, so dra- Dragon's, La- Dragon's Lair, uh, the FMV version, not the shitty <laughs> the, the, version, yeah, oh. Let's, which uh, we're going to talk about here in a minute because we're talking <laughs> about shitty games. So, uh, yeah, so David, how the fuck do you play Dragon's Lair? I have no idea. Which I'm one? Serious. Dragon's Lair. Oh, the, the, the arcade the cartoon one. one? Yeah. 
Well, you just you have to do the prompts. On you got to wait. Ain't no prompts. Yes, well, there is. Where are their prompts? Arrows pop up for like a split second. You got to be super say, uh, quick. No, they no, dude. Don't they know. glow? Doesn't there, isn't there like a yeah, flash? Yeah, it flashes. Yeah, it like flashes momentarily. Direction. It's literally. If you play it backwards, it's it's. You, kill, you get a flash. <laughs> it's quick time events. The game. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yes. It's just it's just got a war. But, you have but to without understand, the good parts. This was back in the eighties. But without when, the boobs and the drugs and me getting to pull a guy's eyeballs out of his face. <laughs> but you have to understand, this was back in the eighties when that was new and you were playing a cartoon, so that was that I, was. I the, will say for the time, that game was beautiful. Yeah, it was an I mean, awesome was, game. Was that Rotoscope? It was. It was revolutionary. No, I don't think that was Rotoscope. It wasn't Rotoscope. No. No. So oh, yeah, Space yeah, Ace. Yeah, too. Too. I never, I've never actually seen a Space Ace. Like a like, cab? Yeah, I've seen a Dragon's uh, Dragon Lair. Dragon's Lair. Lair. Yeah, but uh, yeah. There, so does anybody know that there was a Dragon's Lair game that came out on the NES? Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, that should. Has anybody actually seen it? So bad. It is so shitty. It is a side-scrolling well, it's, platformer. It's not playable, right? It's it. NES. NES. They had it, one for Super NES. It yeah. is. It is. I don't it remember that. Literally, one. is unplayable. Like the game. The game. Like there's no instructions. Like it, it's like a side scroller, half action, half quick time. Event. You can't even get in the castle. Yeah, you can't touch anything. Yeah, you're, you're, if you, you touch anything, literally, if you bump into something like a pixel, it doesn't want you to touch. Your body just explodes into bones and crumples in place. It's worse than so. Hope something. you wanted to be a skeleton. Yeah. Hey, hope you like being some creepy skeletons. I'm just going to leave your bones on my porch. <laughs> and then Alex Jones is going to collect them up and sell them back to me. And, for and a lot turn of them money. into a shake. Yeah, he's going to have a bone supplement shake. <laughs> See, we, I, don't, I don't know if we've ever explained that joke. So Alex Jones literally sells supplements that are made out of bones. <laughs> like he literally has a men's health supplement that has like bones in it and it tastes like butthole. It's but he sells it. Though. It's chocolate flavored bone mix, essentially. <laughs> so Sh- Sean and I are just keep joking around. We're going to sell like geek fuel. And it's going to be ground up like chicken bones it's from Wingstop. Be- it's, it's cow bone. It'll it's be, just cow bone. It'll be chalk dust. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bunch of tums that I crunched up and threw in a container. It's, it's chalk dust and salt. Buy this at $75. It'll make you more virile as a man. Or whatever the hell you that guy said. You can cars. Get- you got Marathon, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to do that. Can we talk about <laughs> shitty movies? I don't want to watch. Lord of the Rings is up there. So, uh, all right, cool. Well, we've been going long enough, I think, so uh, we can uh, we'll wrap give it up. A reprieve. Yeah, we can give everybody a reprieve. The only reason people stayed around is because we promised them free shit. So in case you were wondering, you know, the reason I'm here. That's why. Yeah, David's only here because he thinks he's getting free shit, but his free shit is that uh, we're just gonna punch his dick when everybody leaves the room. No, jokes on them. I like it. Hey, just, just like, hey, here's your reward. Um, so, all right, cool. Uh, if you guys want to know more about us, this includes the people in the room or the people on the internet listening to this later. Uh, the best place to do that is nerdlifetx.com. Everything that we do uh, goes there first, and we have started that uh, transition where Nick has taken over a lot of the writing. So, there's a lot of articles coming out lately, uh, kind of back a lot to back. Like three, right? Well, yeah, but he has them scheduled. <laughs> so, like, it's not like when you and I wrote and we're like, hey, this week we wrote an article. Next week, I don't feel like typing things. <laughs> it's not like that. So we have, like, an actual dude that's actually writing mo- a lot now. Yeah. So you're going to see more articles up over there more frequently. Uh, as we said earlier, we own T-shirts.pizza. It would be really cool if you guys went to T-shirts.pizza and bought an awesome shirt. We have now what? We've got spooky, ooky spooky party skeletons. Yeah. So these, it's just a T-shirt with skeletons on it dancing, wearing sweet Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> that's from our podcast. Yeah. Uh, we have a Get Big Sun T-shirt, yeah. which uh, Sean's, kid. Sean's uh, dream-crushing daughter. Uh, that fell out of her mouth during a YouTube video. So we've got that. Uh, what else do we have? We have that cool uh, illustrated uh, Oh, yeah. Skull. We have a sweet illustrated skull that just says, you know, nerd life yeah. on it. Yeah, that's pretty badass. And then, just, uh, his face is just falling apart. Yeah, and then we have one. And then the normal shirt. Yeah, and then we have like a we have a normal shirt with just our dumb faces on it. Yep, for the podcast. So if you like our dumb faces, or you can go there. Yeah, you'll wear it. Yeah, if anybody head. was at my talk earlier, it was the one where we all have beards, but see, Sean cut his beard off. I still have I still mine. am bearded? He's, yeah, he doesn't have a Lightly beard. bearded. Ugh. Bearded light. Yes, bearded light. Yeah, you're a beard not. Diet beard. Diet I beard. Diet beard. You're yeah. diet beard. You're the Bud Light of beards. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Uh, Bud so. Light of beards. The new shirt. Bud Light of beards. Hey, copyright. Nobody take that. Bud Light of beards. That's ours. We own that. Um, okay, I I cool. Bud Light. So uh, let's start with a uh, good old Davo Banjo. Where can people find you on social media? How can they follow the shit that comes out of you? On the tweeters. What, you got to say, you gotta say what you're at. At Davo Banjo. <laughs> there you go. All right, you cool. did it right. Is that all you? D A V O B A N J O. What's his name? Oh, is that is that is that is that the only thing you got? You ain't got no Facebooks. 
Oh, Can you share his Facebook? I don't want people on my Facebook. So go 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 to his Facebook. It's the real Donald Trump. You'll see his picture right on there. Uh, that's that's his Facebook page. No so, politics. Uh, he'll just go there. Uh, tell him you really liked his podcast. He'll appreciate it. Yeah. Tell him you want to buy a T-shirt. <laughs> Give him your number so he can text you. Um, Okay, so uh, Sean, where do people find you? Uh, at on Twitter at GWS Rancor, and you can find the website at NerdLifeTX on everything in the entire world. How do I spell Rainacore? R A I N K O R E. Rainacore. Sweet. Uh, I am Nitro Weasel Three K. You can find me as such on everything, everything, everything. I ain't spelling it. Even y'all, on Facebook, y'all even, can even Friendster. I got Facebook. <laughs> I got Instagram. I got all the things. So you can find uh, MySpace. Okay. Check out my MySpace what page. Facebook? Check out check out my Spacebook. My Google my Google Plus channel that He's nobody fucking uses because it's Google Plus. <laughs> check out my IRC channel. Check out me IRC. on Blackberry Messenger. Um, yeah, so uh, you can follow me on any of those things. Um, we do have other uh, sister podcasts. I have a podcast called the uh, Nerds at Drive-Ins podcast. It's been dead for a little bit, but we're getting ready to resurrect it, so that'll be fun. We also have uh, Gamer Stories, which is hosted by our normal co-host, uh, Zero Ping, Z3R-O-Ping, Zero, Z3R-Zero-P-N-G. Yeah. There you go. Uh, he hosts our other podcast, and it's, it's basically a, a podcast that's a little more serious, and it's about why people become gamers. So that's kind of neat. It's kind of an interesting show. Um, so, yeah, make sure that you check out the other great shows on Astro Panda Productions, specifically the Ricardo Fantastico show. Ricky, is there anything you for, want to plug? Uh, Ricky. Ricky, do you want us to you come up here and speak in my microphone? Huh? What? At We Are Astro Panda. So follow at We Are Astro Panda if you want to know about all the cool shit that they're pumping out that doesn't have our dumb voices and faces on it. Um, beyond that, if you could do us a really big favor, always tell two friends when you hear the show, because if everybody told two friends and they told two friends, we'd grow huge, huge, huge. Um, also, uh, it does us a huge, huge, huge amount of good if you like, comment, and subscribe on things when you see them, when you see them posted from our social media, or if you're listening to this on someplace like iTunes, giving us a rating and a review actually moves us up in kind of iTunes ranking systems so everybody can see us. You know, it makes us more visible to people who are searching for podcasts like this one. So if you guys wouldn't mind doing that for us, that would be super cool. Five-star reviews only, so if you're going to be sad about it, you can still say mean mean things to me, but give me a five-star review. I'll still like you. Um, You suck, but you're really good at it. You you suck, but here's five stars. (laughs) That one kid talked about dick sucking too long. Um, So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just just if you could leave us a uh, review. Uh, beyond that, we appreciate uh, everybody who listens online, and we really appreciate all you guys for being here and hanging around for this because uh, this is our first uh, this is our first live one, so uh, it was pretty awkward. I think we did okay. Though, we did good. I hope I'm proud of us. I hope all 80 people were happy. Yep, I'm I'm proud of <laughs> this us. Whole, Except this for whole those people stadium. who left. This whole I auditorium. Proud, I am proud of those people who left. I'm sad about them. They are um, weak. They couldn't handle it. I'm gonna block the block them on Twitter, but I can't if I'm the president. No politics on the podcast. Okay, so until next time, uh, we will talk to you later. Uh, Bye. Bye. See ya. Cool.